हेलो गुड इवनिंग गुड इवनिंग टीचर हाउ आर यू फाइन थैंक्स एंड यू नाइस आई एम फाइन थैंक यू ग्लैड टू हियर यू हाउ वाज योर डे नो नाइस did you have a good day yes yes it's all right perfect nice awesome welcome to tonight's tonight's class <laughs> i was going to say tonight's show no but it's tonight's class only few students tonight Where are the others? This is our last class. Did you take the exam? Did you take an exam for the diploma? Yes? No? Yes, yes. Nice. How was the <laughs> test? Yes, yes, teacher. How nice. was the exam? Easy. Yes, easy. Exam. Nice. Great. Well, we just have Miss Nidia, Miss Eva, Miss Tatiana, and Mr. Melvin Mejia. Good evening. How are you? I found thanks teacher. Nice. Welcome. All right, let's get started. Let's get started in our class tonight. Well, let's see. This is our last class. I hope this has helped you to improve, to practice, to build confidence, okay? To continue learning, of course because it is important to continue learning. Let me just move my desk right here. Okay. And of course, our last class is going to be a review of the use of the past tense is by describing life events. Did you prepare for today's presentation, for tonight's presentation? Talk a little bit about yourself using the past tense, using the past of being, was, where, uh, describing where you were born, the childhood that you had, how you were as a child, and all the stuff, okay? So, we're definitely going to compare as a child and as an adult <laughs> what things now are different than when you were a child okay so this is something that we're gonna do as well but before i see somebody wants to participate we're gonna have a little game let me see let me just make sure i have the right presentation right here one second please One second. Okay, good evening to the ones that are just joining. Let me see. Mm -hmm, right here. And here we go. Okay, are you ready? Yes. <laughs> okay. Let's see. We're gonna spin the wheel. Uh huh. Did you play? Oh, we're gonna move it right here, okay? Did you play games when you were a child? What games did you play? Mm -hmm. Tentarro. <laughs> <laughs> did you play hide and seek? Jax, what did you play? What games? Anybody can answer. Escondelero. Hide and seek. Yes, that is Escondelero. 
One, two, three for me. They say. <laughs> okay, what else? Hodge. Play jump. Play jump rope. Uh huh. Jump ropes. Exactly. And jumping the rope. Exactly. What else? Tap. Pebbles. Chibolas. <laughs> Capiruchos. Chollos. Do you used to play all those games? No? Triquitraca. Triquitraca, it's true. <laughs> all right, nice. Well, let's continue. Okay, this is not about your weekend. This is more recent. Did you cook with your family or alone last weekend? What did you cook? Mm -hmm. Did you cook with your family or alone? What did you cook? Uh -huh. You didn't cook. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I did cook alone. I cook weekend. alone. All right. And what did you cook? Lasagna, chicken, fish. Ah, uh, chicken. Chicken. Uh, patatas. Patatas. Potatoes. Potatoes. <laughs> Fresh potatoes. <laughs> Fried potatoes with chicken. All right. Nice. Okay. I was cooking with my family. I cooked with my family, all right? I was cooking with my family, that's nice. All right, somebody else? Uh-huh. Tell about the last time you went to a holiday. Where did you go? What did you do? To a holiday uh, celebration, right? Uh-huh. You say, oh, I went to celebrate Christmas with my grandparents or with my mother, with my brothers, with my friends. Uh -huh. And what did you do? We went to the, to the beach, we went camping, we went on a, on a picnic, we went to a park. Uh -huh. Oh, we went to a... A local holiday that they celebrate nowadays this uh what they call it it's the fiesta patronales you can say we went to a local holiday right we ate elotes locos mm -hmm. anybody wants to talk about the experience of celebrating a holiday the last holiday that you went on Hi teacher, good evening. Hi, good evening. Uh, my last holiday was Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. And I went to my, I went with my friends to a restaurant and we um, uh, ate dinner, dinner together. Nice. So we had dinner together. All right, awesome. All right, let's keep going. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> How do you describe yourself when you were 15 years old? Nice experience. A mess teacher. <laughs> I was a mess. <laughs> okay. Uh huh. Somebody else? How do you describe yourself when you were 15? It was incredible when I was 15. <laughs> yeah, probably life was simpler, not that complicated as it is now. I, I remember um, the other teenagers were really nice. Okay, life was happy, probably. Okay, somebody wants to describe him or herself when you were 15? Teacher, yes? uh, if I 
if I like to do a lot of jokes, it's mm -hmm. a, it is okay if I say I was a joker. Hmm. Or it's different. It's because the joker, it's it has this connotation of the movie. <laughs> I like no. probably I like no to in play. my case because I like to yeah I like to play no, around I like to, to I like to play a lot of jokes mm -hmm. oh, okay yeah but I don't think there I, I, I was, was a clown disorganized. probably <laughs> I was kind of a clown <laughs> yes kind of <laughs> yeah I remember uh yeah I used to have a lot of a lot of classmates and, and friends that were really really crazy as well okay and I was a little bit disorganized and re irresponsible. Oops. <laughs> okay. But now I've changed teacher. Thank God. Now that's what we're going to do in the next activity. We're going to compare <laughs> the kid and the adult. Okay. Let's see. Uh huh. The past simple of the verse forget. What? Forgot. Believe. Forgot. <laughs> Believe. Believed. Believed. Uh huh. Make. Made. 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 Get. Got. 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 Enjoy. Enjoyed. 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 Try. Tried. 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 Try. That's great. You still remember it, that's nice. Don't forget them, keep practicing actually. You will need them all the time. Oh, we already had this question. Did you cook with your family or alone last weekend? And what did you cook? Did anybody else cook? Alone or with the last family? Last week I didn't cook. I didn't cook at all. <laughs> nice. Last weekend I didn't cook, teacher. Yes. You got delivery or you went out to eat? Oh, you didn't eat. No, I ate. Cereal. I ate at <laughs> home, but my, oh, yes, somebody but else my mother did uh, everything. Your mom cooked. Oh, nice. A spoil. Okay. <laughs> Uh-huh, the games that you already mentioned that you used to play or that you played as a child. How do you say Mika? You used to play Mika? Tag, like T-A-G, tag. And what was the other one? Peregrina? I say, I think it's Hodge. Trompo and Chibolas. Uh-huh, tap. And how do you call chibolas? Uh, I think it's pebbles. Pebbles? Mm -hmm. Like, like uh, the Pedro's baby. Pica Piedra's daughter. <laughs> yes, like, like the Flintstones' daughter. Okay. Oh, okay. So, I still have some questions that haven't appeared, I think. But we still keep having the same one. Let's do it again. Aha, uh -huh. what did you eat yesterday at night? Pasta with meat. Pasta with meat. Uh -huh. Yesterday spaghetti. I spaghetti. I ate avocado. <laughs> avocado and cheese. So kind of uh, guacamole, but not with all the ingredients because it was, not, I mean, late. So I rather have that one and fried tortillas. <laughs> all right, somebody else. Participate, don't be afraid, don't be shy. There are not correct or incorrect answers. Tell me about the last time they were really scared. Yeah. Remember any experience you have lived? Last time you were really scared. Uh -huh. uh, 
Hi, teacher. Hi. Um, the last year, mm -hmm. I um, I was really scared. I I was I was sick. Oh, really? And um, este, you got the COVID. COVID, <laughs> yes. Yes. yes, people when they I got the COVID, they got really scared. Yes, and mm -hmm. then I I had to take pills. Mm -hmm. All the medicines. Yes, and I I was uh, in the hospital. No, uh, in the house, in the house. Mm -hmm. But um, ahogarme, ¿cómo se dice ahogarme? Uh, I couldn't breathe. No I podía respirar, right? But but um, a pills. <laughs> when when I take a pills. Ah, oh, when you were taking the were... medicine, it was yes. difficult. Mm. Yes. So you um, were really scared. Yes, but mm -hmm. I don't, I didn't um, respire. Breathe. No I couldn't breathe. I couldn't breathe. Mm -hmm. um, so it was terrible. No, me, <laughs> yes, teacher. No podía sacar, así que español. <laughs> no podía sacar la pastilla de mi garganta ni me bajaba. Oh, o sea, so entonces, you had like an, like an accident with the medicine. Yes. Uh -huh. but, it happened all the time. Solo le pasó una vez o, o siempre le pasaba? Una, una vez. Oh, so it was an accident with the medicine. Una vez. O sea. mm -hmm, with the pill. So yes. you almost shock yourself with the pill. So you couldn't swallow and you couldn't take it out. Yes. Mm. After I uh, don't, didn't sleep. <laughs> oh no, really? No. I couldn't yes. sleep either. Oh no, that's terrible. Sorry to hear that. Yeah, yes. I remember the last time I was really scared. It was because of the COVID. When they announced the COVID, the quarantine and the extreme uh, security uh, protocols and everything, I was really scared because I remember the, the first lockdown, I didn't get out of the house for about two months, strictly. I didn't even get out of the door. I was like in shock. I didn't even go to visit my parents. I didn't go to the supermarket. I ordered everything online and I tried to do everything from the house. So that was really, really scary. Yes, the channel. Yeah, it was terrible. All right. <laughs> okay, let's see. This one is something we already asked. The the person that you were when you were a uh, little again. So probably there is a question we haven't had before. Uh-huh. Did you play the games? Yes, we did this. What did you do last weekend? Mention all the activities. Let's choose the the one before this one, okay? What do you do last weekend? Do you remember? I rested a lot. Mm -hmm. I played video games. Mm -hmm. I did the laundry. Mm -hmm. I cleaned my bedroom. Mm -hmm. And I watched TV. Nice. Did the laundry, clean the house, well, clean your bedroom, watch TV, play games. Uh huh. Somebody else? Another person who wants to participate with the same question. What did you do last weekend? I did exercise. I did exercise. Uh -huh. I, oh, I went to breakfast with my family. I went to have breakfast with my family. Uh -huh. I had breakfast with my family. Oh, we went out for breakfast, right? That's really cool on Sundays. <laughs> <laughs> yes, people usually go out for breakfast on Sundays. Uh -huh. Yes. Nice. What else? Let's see. Uh huh. Uh, 
the beach. I <laughs> went to the beach. Mm, yes. Excuse me. <laughs> We're going to be eliminating the questions then. Uh huh. Again, what do you do last weekend? Los que no han participado. The ones that didn't participate can mention what do you do the weekend? What do you do last weekend? Hmm? At least one activity. I stay home, I studied, I cleaned, I worked, I went to. Uh, teacher, I, I went, I did the weekend, and it's a party. I went to a party. It's a cake. I ate I cake. I ate pizza. I ate pizza. Mm. Ice cream. Ice cream. I candy. I ate candies. Okay. In that case, you can make a list. I ate pizza, candy, ice cream, right? Okay. Let's see. Uh huh. Did you cook anything with your family? I think we already asked this one so many times. So let's skip it. <laughs> The pass of forget for God, believe, believe, make, made, get God, right? So we got that one already. Probably we get the, the ones that we haven't gotten yet. Mm -hmm. All right. Tell me about the last time you were really scared. Only one person talked about the last time she was really scared. How about the others? Uh huh. Can you describe the last time that you were really scared? Last time that I was really scared was when, when my mother got sick. Oh, Jesus. Uh, because, because of her, uh, I don't know how to say it, teacher. She had something that we call in Spanish, calculus. Because of her health condition, we can say in general. Okay. Mm -hmm. the, Thing and we had to take her to the hospital because the pain was very hard, very, very high, high or very hard, very strong, probably. Uh -huh. The pain was very strong, mm -hmm. so I was like praying to the whole saints and the whole gods in the world to to uh, help her recover, to help her, yes, mm -hmm. and that was very scary. When was that? A year ago, two years ago? No, it was uh, the last month. Last month? Yes, oh, now God. she's okay. Thanks, God. Thank God, she's feeling better. I think Miss Jamie also wanted to participate, talking about the last time she was really scared. Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. Good evening, everybody. Hi, good evening. Uh, well, uh, the last year, I was in an accident in the car. Yeah, but thank God, it... solo fueron daños materiales, pero sí. Just the car got damaged. <laughs> but yeah. you were really scared. Yes, being in a car accident is really scary. It is. Yes. Thank you, thank sí, you. I was, I was uh, stay in shock. I was in yeah. shock, yes. Uh -huh. I didn't want to drive anymore. Yes. Really. Uh, I I had crashed twice. Dos veces he chocado. Pero I continue. Yes. You feel really scared at the beginning. And if you stop, yeah. you never try it again. But then I I had to. I, but let's say that the crash no han sido tan graves. They have been okay. minor. So not very big crash. It's, I mean, very small accidents. But then I continue. I push myself to continue driving because if I stop, I will never do it again. So maybe you can try again with therapy therapy yourself yes, <laughs> yes i i try and i um uh, 
uh, I crash car? again or I drive again? Mm -hmm. Yes, but the fear is there. Really? Uh -huh. You continue. Uh, uh, yes, but poco a poco. yes, little by little. It's okay. No problem. Okay. Mm -hmm. How do you describe yourself when you were 15 years old? <laughs> El alma de la fiesta. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> it's very easy for me to talk about my one of my brothers because he was really crazy when he was 15. <laughs> so I remember that he used to be the chambelan in every party, you know. So one day we went to a party. Well, he was invited. But then my mother told him that he couldn't go alone, so we have to go with him. And we were looking for him, and he escaped from the party. And we were like, oh my God, where's your brother? My mom was angry at me, and I was like, I'm here. Why do you get mad at me? Get mad at him. And I always say, Castillo. <laughs> but she never wanted to punish him. <laughs> oh, my mom was very spoiled with my brother. <laughs> Oh, my brother was a case. And then I was, I would say, a child girl, a child person. I was um, not very, not very outgoing. I was kind of focused on the studies. I was responsible. So then here I am. <laughs> and my brother... He has five kids now. <laughs> All right. So don't ever tell him that I describe his his teenage. In the last three. All right. What did you eat yesterday? Somebody says he had. What was it? Lasagna. Spaghetti. Uh huh. What did you eat yesterday at night? Cereal, bread, coffee? I did, I did it yesterday at night, uh, pupusas. I had, I ate pupusas. Uh -huh. I ate hamburger and fries. And fries, okay, a hamburger and fries. I had avocado, I said, avocado and cheese. <laughs> I, I ate egg with beans. Egg with beans and cream and cheese and bread. <laughs> because and coffee with All milk. Right. Coffee and milk. Chilaquilas. I tonight. ate chilaquilas at night. Wow. Uh -huh. The last time that you were extremely excited. Mm -hmm. Like, wow, yes. Last time some people were really excited was last Sunday because of... <clears throat> because of a team from Spain won. <laughs> because of El Clásico. <laughs> or oh, you don't like soccer? Nah. Nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> <laughs> Some people what, in my name. Oh, remember. you don't remember the, the last time you were really. No, <laughs> No remember, please. No remember, please. <laughs> ah, don't remember the incident. Okay. Well, <laughs> last time I was really excited. Let's see. Oh, I remember now. It was about three weeks ago that I got the news that five of my students are going to study in the United States. They receive a scholarship. So that was really exciting. Really, really. So, and the last one. Definitely, we have talked about this before, I think. That was the other one. Ah. <laughs> okay. The last time you went on a holiday. Mm -hmm. Yeah, somebody talked about Valentine's Day, that he went to a restaurant to have dinner with his friends. Yes. 
that was Irving, right? So this is it. Let's move on. Let's continue. Oh, before I forget, I asked the coordinator and he told me that the next course for you is going to start at the end of March. Today is the 22nd, so most likely in the last week of March, which is going to be the next week, right? Yes. Hey, thank you, teacher. No problem. Yes, next week, uh -huh, most likely next week, by the end of March, he said. Teacher, are they, are they going to ask us, ask us to to send the, all the information again? Mm, that is something that I don't know either. Because <laughs> I don't really, I, I mean, yeah, I could ask. I could ask. Okay, don't anybody. worry, teacher. Yes. Or you can ask directly, yeah, in the group. Okay, mm -hmm. I will. Yes, please, because I don't really know how everything works. Yeah, Thank I'm not you. very, yes, sure about it. All right, here we go. I got the presentation right here as I was sharing with you. Now you gotta compare you as a child and you as an adult. Uh-huh. What do you remember? You as a child, I was very serious. Now I am very talkative. I was very responsible. Now I am not very responsible. <laughs> or I was a little crazy. Now I am more serious. So this is what you're going to do. Compare you as a child and now you as an adult. So this is what you're going to do. Did you as a child and now do you because did is in past do is in present right so did you clean your room as a child yes i did no i didn't now do you clean your room now yes i do no i don't and then with all these questions did you clean your room did you make your bed did you get up early did you sleep late on saturdays did you fight with your friends? Did you argue with your family? Did you listen to rock music? Did you listen to classical music? Did you play a musical instrument? Did you play a sport? Did you wear glasses? Did you wear braces? Glasses is this and braces is on the teeth, right? And of course, did in past, do in present, right? Remember, so for each of these options, you're gonna make two questions. Did you clean your room as a child? Mm -hmm. Yes, I did. No, I didn't. I used to do it. <laughs> yes, I did, right? Yes, I did. So do you clean your room now? Yes, I do. Of course, right? Did you make your bed as a child? Yes, I did. Do you make your bed now? Yes, I do, right? Did you get up early as a child? Yes, I did. Do you get up early now? Yes, I do, right? So you gotta be asking this. And if you want to give extra information, extra details, you can do it, all right? So I'm gonna share this uh, group of questions in your chat and I'm going to make you work in pairs or in trios. Let's see, yes. Either pairs or trios is fine. Let's have Yes, this one. There's only one group of three and the rest are in pairs, right? Alguien puede compartir la pantalla.
Ay, lo de Vini. Ay, eh, creo que no Ay. es necesario compartir Ay. la pantalla, podríamos. La presentación ahorita. Sí. Tiene que la amplíe un poquito más, sí. por favor. Por favor, por favor. ¿Así? Sí, está bien. If you clean your room. Puede, puede proyectar, Julián. Ahorita la busco. Ok. Estamos, ¿verdad? Ahí se ve. Ok. ¿Did you get up early as a child? No, I didn't. Do you get up early now? Uh, no, 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 I do. No. No. <laughs> Did you sleep late on Saturday as a child? Uh, yes. Yes, I did. Do you sleep late on Saturday now? Uh, yeah. Hello, Miss Jamie. What happened? You are alone. Sí. Really? Yes. Alguien se desconectó entonces. Ya, yeah, me apareció. Room 5. Uh -huh. No le di a aceptar, pero no había nadie. La voy a poner en otro. Don't worry. Bueno, gracias. Okay. Let me see. Miss Jamie goes to the room. Al tú la. Al tú. Ya le voy a dar una invitación al número dos. Don't worry. Did you, did you, did you, did you feel with your friends as a child? No, I didn't. Never. Uh, did you, did you, uh, porque sería como es peleabas peleabas ah peleabas como ah <risa> uh, mm. yes I did <risa> uh -huh. eh, do you do you find with with your friends now no I don't know. Ahora okay. Dice que la última. Did you argue with your family as a child? Um, ¿Qué significa eso? Eh, discutir. ¿Qué es eso? Do you play a musical instrument now? Uh, no, no, I don't. Did you play a sport as a child? Yes, yes, I did. I play basketball. Oh, really? I like basketball. <laughs> Do you play a sport now? 
Yes, yes, I do. Oh, nice. Uh, <laughs> did you wear glasses as a child? Uh, no, no, I, I, I didn't. Yes, yes, I do. Uh, yes, I do. Teacher, una pregunta. Tell me. Eh, 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 cada una de las palabras que tenemos allá como clean your room, uh -huh. podría, podemos hacerla con las, con las preguntas de arriba, ¿verdad? Yes. So, make your bed, make, eh, literalmente significa hacer, Ajá, pero, pero en preguntas será como ordenar. Ordenar la cama, exacto. Uh -huh. Arreglar la cama, ese uno, en Spanish, right? Dicha, la de arriba es como para preguntar cuando uno era chico. Y la si de lo abajo, hacía cuando estaba pequeño y si lo hace ahora. Ajá, uh -huh. la, la de abajo, oh, ok, correcto. Tú y yo, uh -huh. uh -huh. Ok, thank you, teacher. All right, no problem. Ah, pues sí, mira, así es. Okay. Si gusta, me pregunta, eh, yo le pregunto posteriormente. Vaya, de acuerdo, comenzamos entonces. Did you clean your room as a child? Eh, no, I didn't. Siguiente. Ok. Eh, la siguiente es, este, esperen, que no miro. Es, uh, did you fight with your friends as a child? Uh, no, I didn't. Exactly. Did you I know, did you did you fight with no I don't exactly nos ayudas con la siguiente Melvin por favor do I don't I don't no I don't Okay. Did you art with your family as a child? No, I didn't. Do you art with your family now? No, I don't. Did you listen to rock music as a child? No, I didn't. Do you listen to rock music now? No, I don't. I don't like. Okay. So. Oh, then I said okay. Oh my God, what happened to the other students? <laughs> they stay in the rooms. Oh, they... They are practicing, teacher. Yeah, they were still practicing, it's true. But here they are. <laughs> okay. We have a uniform today, Miss Cecilia. <laughs> We are wearing sí. a uniform. Actually, yes. this, is, this is my uniform, but I, <laughs> I didn't want to change, so I made it's, logo. It's <laughs> como a, mm -hmm. Yeah. It's sí. comfortable. Comfort. Yes. All mm -hmm. right. Did you finish the exercise or you were still practicing? In progress. <laughs> Progress. All right, no problem. It's okay. Now we're going to see how you can describe you yourself as a child and yourself now. Give me one second, please. 
It's because I had this exercise. Was this one? Yes. Okay, hold on. All right, this was the exercise, right? Okay, so did you make your, okay, did you make your bed as a child? Uh-huh. Yes, I did. <laughs> Quienes dijeron, yes, I did. <laughs> Raise your hand, put your hands up. <laughs> did you clean your room as a child? Oh my Lord. No, you, I didn't, teacher. You didn't clean your room as a child, and now you do. Now, yes, I do. All right. Did you get up early as a child? Never. <laughs> your mom <laughs> knocking at the door. Get up. Right. Did you sleep late on Saturdays? Nobody Sometimes. Did. Sometimes. <laughs> did you fight with your friends or with your brothers or with your sisters? Sometimes. <laughs> yes, I did. I did. Did you argue with your family? Um, this no, I didn't. no, I didn't. <laughs> Not much. I used to argue with my father, especially. <laughs> because my father used to give me a lot of instructions and he didn't give the same instructions to my brothers. And I was like, I don't see the point. Okay, <laughs> did you listen to rock music? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Salsa music. Menudos music. <laughs> Bastard voice music. Yes. <laughs> yes, I did. All right. <laughs> did you did you play a musical instrument? The flute, the drums, in la banda de guerra, en la banda de paz. I don't know if those were the bands at school. Nothing. No. Okay. Did you play a sport? Yes, teacher. Softball, basketball. <laughs> yes, right. I did. Okay. Did you wear glasses as a child? Yes, I did. I no, did. I and now no, I, I didn't. <laughs> and now I do. <laughs> did you wear braces? No, I didn't. And now I do. For the teeth? Yes. I... Yes, I did. <laughs> and oh, now I do. Okay, good. Well, there's a reading I have included. It's a way of making a summary. This is the story of Maria, Maria Gomez. Maria Gomez was born in Peru. You can change Maria Gomez for your name, of course. And say Cecilia Hernandez was born in El Salvador, okay? <laughs> she grew up in a small village. You can say she grew up in a city or she grew up in a city called San Salvador, or, or I don't know, Santa Tecla, whatever you grew up. She began a school when she was six years old. She went to elementary school, but she didn't go to high school. Her family was very poor, and she had to go to work when she was 13 years old. She worked on, a, on an assembly line in a shoe factory. Tuve que trabajar en una... Una línea de producción, ensamblando calzado, una fábrica. So when Maria was 17 years old, her family moved to the United States. First, she lived in Los Angeles, and then they moved to San Francisco. When Maria arrived to the United States, she was very happy. She, she wasn't very happy, I'm sorry. She missed her friends back in Peru, and she didn't speak one word of English. She began to study English at night and she worked in a factory during the day. Maria studied very hard. She learned English and she got a good job as a secretary. Maria still studies at night, but now she studies advertising at a business school. She wants to work for an advertising company someday and write commercials. Maria still misses her friends back home, but she communicates with them very often over the internet. She's very happy now, and she's looking forward to an exciting future. 
Eso podría ser como un template para que ustedes escriban también como su propia historia. ¿Ya? Yeah? Of course, no todos los detalles o todos los los hechos que sucedieron en la vida de María podrían haber ocurrido en la de ustedes, pero traten como de ir sustituyendo, right? So, María Gómez was born in Peru. Obviously, ustedes van a decir su nombre, right? Y el país. She grew up in a small village. Esto era una pequeña villa, un pequeño pueblo. She began school. Se puede decir, she began school when she was six years old. She went to elementary school, fue a la escuela primaria. But she didn't go to high school. Or you can say, oh, and she went to high school. This is the case, right? Her family was very poor and she had to work. Well, her family was okay and she didn't have to work. Yes. Then, uh, or she had to do some other activities. She had to clean the house. She had to do housework at home or she had to help her mom in a small business. I don't know, whatever you want to say or whatever was the case, actually. When... Let's say, imagine if me, when Blanca was 18 years old, she moved to San Salvador and she started the university, I can say, right? She was very, well, she wasn't very happy because she missed her family back in Ilovasco, but she was okay because she was at the university and she was learning English. So that's something I can say. Then... She studied very hard until she graduated. <laughs> and then she became an English, a teacher of English. She got a job at a kindergarten school. She worked there for five years. And then she learned, well, she graduated and she learned how to teach different levels of English. Now she, is, she lives in the city and she's okay there. She has two jobs. And she's happy teaching the language. Okay, so now it's your turn. Obviously, como les decía, no va seguramente a tener todo como alguna adaptación, pero por lo menos los datos generales, okay? So I'm going to share para que lo puedan tratar de decir. I'm sorry, give me one second. It's because I got some issues with the... Okay, here we go. Se los voy a compartir y lo van a hacer con las mismas personas que estaban en the breakout room, ¿ok? No problems. Oh, here we have two more people. Sí, está bien, sí. Sí, sí. Sí, sí. Sí, sí. ¿Qué van a hacer ahí con las mismas palabras o las vamos a ir cambiando la frase? Tenemos que ir cambiando. ¿Como una presentación? Como, ajá, como nosotros mismos. Sería... Uh -huh. Vamos a ver... Dice Eva, Eva Guetta was born in Morazán. ¿Estará bien así? 
Yes. She missed her. She missed her friends back in Peru, and she didn't speak on word. She didn't speak one word on, of English. She began to study English at night, and she worked in a factory during the day. Okay. ¿Quién sigue? Uh, Enlicemos otra vez. Eh, okay. No, hay una segunda imagen. Ah, ya la mando. Oh, perdón. Sí. Adelante. No la, no la había visto. Entonces, seguir leyendo. Ok. María studied very hard. She learned English and she called a go job as a secretary. Continue. María Steele studies at night, but now she studies adversity at a business school. She wants to work for an adversity company someday in white comer commercials. Okay. Sorry, because of the time. <laughs> yes, I know we need more time for this activity, but because of- Very fast. I know. <laughs> Sorry, I have another class, so that's why I have to stop. So I want to say thank you very much for all this time that we have been together. I hope you continue studying and continue learning. It was a pleasure to meet you. So I encourage you to continue. Don't give up, okay? Keep going. Continue, continue, continue studying, all right? Teacher, I have a question. Yes, sir. Do we have class to, uh, tomorrow? Today is oh, the last Today class. is the last one. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> nice to meet you. Pleasure. Yes, Keep practicing. So Nice to meet you too, Chichi. Nice to Hope meet to you. See you soon. Meet you, okay. God bless you. God bless you, teacher. Bye. God bless you, teacher. Bye. Thank you. To meet Thank you. you. Nice meeting you. Thanks Bye. for Thank your you. support. Thank you. Any any time.